Oh, what's going on, everybody? Here, welcome back to some more Planet Crafter. Oh, we're back doing the volcanic update. This update is fun, it's cool, it's neat, and I'm excited. Hopefully, you all are as well. Now, without further ado, let's get on into it. So, what I want to do uh, first and foremost is actually I want to build a teleporter going over there. So, let's go ahead and let's grab the things for that. Uh, let's grab our pulse star course. We need three of those, and then we need super alloy, osmium, and zeolite. So, let's see, super alloy rod osmium and zeolite so let's grab those and let's get ourselves a teleporter built now um let's also go ahead because uh we're gonna build a teleporter this this sucker take well you know what? it takes 276 energy we've got we've got 1449 to play with still and uh, let's get that built first and then we're gonna come back um and then we'll build we're gonna go check out the underground thing and then we're gonna build an optimizer uh for our generators <laughs> and we're gonna check out that oh my gosh i'm so excited for that because like the amount of power that we should get out of there <gasps> oh it's gonna be so nice uh, but yeah let's head on over back to the volcanic area and check out what they've got going on but yeah thanks again for coming out hopefully you guys are all having a wonderful day i'm having a fantastic day and uh if you enjoy the video subscribe leave a like hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos you know things like that and let's get into this let's get over here let's see i think if i could just go this way i want to put down the teleport first and then we'll hit up the base okay so there's the base i don't even know what it is it could just be a singular room i have no idea but i do want to go ahead and place the teleporter down over here next to our um our miner just so we can keep an eye on thing where is it at? oh it's over here that's right next to this main this main lava spout here <laughs> this is such a cool area they did such a good job you know what i love it because as the game goes on and as these areas become like you know like as they do more and make more new areas they just become more and more intricate and more and more um they just the like they just look nice you know what i mean they look really nice so uh very exciting to see that let's go ahead and place this here and we're gonna rename this guy as Volcano Volcanic. We'll go to Volcanic, that one looks nice. All right, so that looks good. Now let's go check out our, let's go check out our, uh, our hidden little area, shall we? You know, I'm actually kind of curious. Didn't we get a drone or speed upgrade for our drones? They don't seem to be cruising as fast as they were. Um, or were those the tier two drones? I'm not even 100% sure. I just saw a drone go by and I was like, didn't we get them to where they were like super fast unless they adjust them maybe they maybe they toned them down. they they turned down the turb skis a little bit you know what i mean <laughs> um okay let's go back over here let's go check out this area oh, let's see what we have hopefully we have some more of these um these fuses now i don't know if these fuses are craftable or not i don't i don't think they are i think they're found so okay unless this area i don't think this i don't think we've been in this one before have we <gasps> oh that is so cool that's so cool that the lava's right against the window that you can like that's really cool that's neat i like it um <gasps> we have been to this one before haven't we this new place is a bit warmer than my last camp but still extremely cold it's been two days since i ran out of food i miss the family i'm slowly alone I'm s i've lost all hope i'll have to move out soon i'm terrified of going outside once again it's so dark and so cold you know what? Has this camp been here before? Maybe this one's been here before. Oh, I don't know. There's some things. I almost feel like that's like a... Oh my gosh, that's cool looking though. But now I am a captive bodily in irons in a dungeon and mentally imprisoned in one idea. One horrible, one hor hideous, one unconquerable idea. I have only one thought, only conviction, one certitude condemned to death. Oh no, that's that doesn't sound like good times at all. Well, so there's nothing else here. I don't know if this one was here or not. I don't feel like it was, but at the same time, I don't know. Because now it's covered in lava, which is actually really, <laughs> it's really cool. I love, I actually really like the, um, the lava here. It's really neat. Uh, so we already grabbed those, we already grabbed those. There's nothing in here, which makes me think maybe we were here before. Maybe not, I'm not actually sure. Um, hmm. so yeah, this place wasn't not quite as exciting as I was hoping. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I thought it was going to be something extra spectacular. <laughs> um, okay. So let's see what else we got over here. Oh, that's a lot of lava. We've got all kinds of obsidian. Um, okay. So let's head back let's get our optimizer going. And I want to see if we got our drone upgrade. I thought we had a drone upgrade 
to get them to move faster unless that's an optimizer thing now maybe that's what's going on and i also kind of want to check the ship out a little bit more uh, and i want to see if there's any other entrances there's probably not but i kind of want to and there's probably not i mean like let's let's be real there's probably not all right, so let's head home and let's do, um, hold on, let's actually check this whole drone thing. See, I thought these, they don't seem as fast. Cause like before they were like, um, they were like, they were super fast. You know what I mean? I mean, they're all tier ones. Did we not craft any tier twos? I feel like there was some up. Was there an upgrade associated with drone speed? What is what's going on with these guys? I want to look at these. I want to look in here. What is this? Cooking station, smart fabric, pressure multiplier, heat multiplier, plants multiplier, oxygen multiplier. <gasps> oh my goodness. There's a whole bunch of fuses in here. Production multiplier, energy multiplier, three by three living component, drone tier two. Rounded living compartment, living compartment dome. Oh man, I need to go through and unlock all of this stuff. We only have, see, we only have, I have 10,880 right now. But I don't have a lot. Um, Energy multiplier fuse. Production multiplier fuse. That's cool. Frog Kenjoss eggs. Fish Velkia eggs. Tree seed Rosera. Rosa? Oxygen multiplier, plants multiplier, heat multiplier, pressure multiplier. Interesting. I thought there was an upgrade for drone speed. Maybe it, you know what? Maybe the drones are upgraded. I don't know. It just seems like they're not, they're not quite as quick as they once were. Anyways. All right. Enough of that. Let's get, um, let's get our food and hydration fixed first. <laughs> and then let's go, uh, let's go work on an optimizer and see how this goes. All right. So a tier two optimizer requires two explosive powder, obsidian, and uranium rod. I already have a uranium rod and... Go in here and grab one, two, three. Good lord, that's a lot of obsidian. Um, and then we need some explosive powder. And that is everything. Okay, so let's go put this over next to our generators. Now, let's let's go ahead and take a look at our power once again. Um, 34, 155. Let's see if we can drop this guy down into... How big are you? Oh, it's not... Okay, it's not that big. Oh, darn, it can't go in the middle. Oh, it can go right here. Is that... Oh, there's more on that side though. Oh, if I put it right here though. Okay. So if I put in, does that show me which ones are affected? Oh, it doesn't hit all of them. It doesn't get all of them. Let's see what our power went up to though. I'm, I'm actually, I'm curious to see what it went up to. We might have to like stack our generators thing. So we, we were at 34, 155. Now we're at 40. That's pretty good. I feel like it could be better though. I feel like we could do better. I feel like we could, I feel like we should place that down and then place as many generators directly next to it as possible. Let's do it. All right, so we'll pull that up and then let's see here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one. And then we'll plug this in right here. And then we'll put this in there. Uh, that's a golden effigy. Fuse. Okay, so there's that. So now what I want to do is I want to see if we can move these any closer to um, this generator. So we'll see. We'll see how much power we can make. I'm not going to build any more. I'm just going to move these ones. And we are. We have. We're having some kind of uh, thing going on here. You know what? I should check what storm this is. Make sure it's not a new one. Is this super alloy? This is a super alloy storm. Oh, neat. Okay. Wow, it's like, it's like literally just raining down on us right now. Like, holy moly. Frogs, watch out. Do a lot of crust. Jeez Louise. Oh, good gosh. All right, we calm down now. All right, good. I don't, <laughs> I don't need any super alloy. All right, back to. Uh, I gotta move these things around. It was hard to move them while everything was freaking out. Uh, luckily, these these clip into each other a little bit, so um, 
I think we're gonna be able to get quite a few in here. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, so I got them all moved. Uh, yeah, I don't know how, but like two rooms compacted into that. Uh, the clipping is, is real. <laughs> the clipping is definitely real. I can't even see what's actually being infected by these anymore. So all I can do is go look at our overall power. Now, I think our overall power was like a 40 before. We were at 35 or 34. Now we're at 54. There we go. Okay, so we were at our over. So we went, wait, what? 38, 6, 10. How did we go from 30? Wait, 22. What? Did I, did I grab two? Oh, you know, I have an extra one. I must have accidentally picked up two. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to toss it. Actually, can we just throw it over here maybe? Okay, so let's see, 1485. Now, does this say what these make on their own normally? 1485. So, oh, it says right there, 22, 22, 14. Okay, so that one's not counting, that one's not counting. Let's see if I can move this closer. Like, what if it's right here? 14, okay, yeah, no. So it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get all of them in there. Darn. So 22, 14, 14, 14. So actually this whole side right here is not even not even getting anything right now. That's fine. We can always move them later if needed. So, but we're still getting, I mean, for, for not having to build any more power deals, we're at 60, almost 70, or no, that's how much power's left. We're at 40,000 overall. Where were, we, where were we at before? Were we at 34, 155 or 32? We are 34, 155. So we really only went up, I mean, like five or 6,000, which I guess it's not as much as I thought it would. Because I was thinking if it made 1400 power and 150%, another 50% would be 700, right? So um, I guess it's, I don't know. Anyways, okay, we did that. We have power. We have power. Now, um, what else do we need to do? Oh, we need to look to see these fuses. <laughs> oh, the fuses are made from the points. Okay, so that's where those are made. Now, if we wanted to, machine optimizer tier two. Um, what else? Is there any new items that we can sell in here? No, it's the same items. Okay. And we're at 10,880, which isn't like, I'm not making, we're not making crazy money here. You know what I mean? Like we had like a lot of these, like 25,000 for that. Like I'm making very little money here. So I'm trying to figure out what the best course of action would be. Like these rods are not worth a whole lot. Fabric honestly being worth eight. Pulsar quartz being 25. Pulsar quartz is probably the most valuable, except for the fusion energy cell, but the fusion energy cell requires, um, well, actually, what does the fusion energy cell require? Fusion energy cell requires three pulsar quartz. So, I mean, that's 75 right there. Plus the two osmium and then the obsidian. Osmium by itself is not worth anything. So, I mean, it's really only worth five more. Um, and then you also have to add like, you know, more steps to it. So really making pulsar quartz is probably like the best option, but the making the pulsar quartz is, let's see, we're making pulsar quartz right here. But the problem is we don't have zeolite, indium, methane, we're good on those, uranium, osmium. Well, actually we're really good on everything except for zeolite. Like we're way good on everything except for zeolite. Like that's that's it. And indium. How are we how are we out of indium? Huh. Maybe I need to increase that. Cause if we did, if we could get if we could just get pulsar quartz pulsar quartz going like crazy. You know what? I think it's I think it might be time to go check out our um our zeolite thing and see what's going on there. Cause we have a cave that has zeolite in it. And uh oh, I fell. No, I fell. Let me out. Let's go check on our zeolite. Okay, hold on. You know what? Actually, was there anything else update related? So we have fuses. And we have the new uh, machine optimizers. We have the map. Oh, we also need our we also need to send up the GPS rocket tier four. Um, okay, let's go. Let's go get our zeolite going a little bit faster here. So if I wanted to get uh, some more miners going or extractor tier threes, I'm going to need Osmium Super Alley and Iridium rods. Okay, so let's go get, th we're gonna go set up three more of these miners. <laughs> um, what's the fastest way to get there? Oh, through the Osmium Cave, isn't it? Pretty sure the Osmium Cave connects into the Zeolite Cave. Okay, what do we have going for Zeolite here? Oh, we've only got one. No wonder. <laughs> All right, let's get Orc Extractor Tier 3s going in here. 
Oh, you know what? This place was kind of tricky to get in place, wasn't it? All right, I'll get one, two, and three. Okay, so perfect. Go ahead, zeolite this. Supply the zeolite. Where are you, zeolite? Right there. Okay. Supply that. Go ahead and set up all of these. All right, so that's four of those doing zeolite now. That should be much faster. And then I'm going to guess, how's the inventory on here looking? See, there's only one, and they're already coming to grab it immediately. Perfect. <gasps> oh. Well, hi, little blue frogs. I'll take your eggs. Thank you. Thank you. I want to get a frog collection going. <laughs> We're going to collect all the frogs. Okay, so that's going. That's going to increase that. Um, we're going to go check our Indium as well. Because the next lowest resource was Indium and everything else was like maxed out. So um, if I can get Pulsar Quartz going like super fast, that would give us... Honestly, I think I'm just going to focus on Pulsar Quartz. Because before... There's still ice here. Um, before, I basically... We, made, we have our whole factory, right? We have a factory of everything. Basically, we're crafting everything we can. Which is... It's fine. Um, but realistically, the only thing I want going out... Honestly, maybe I should stop everything except for pulsar quartz and like fabric. This fabric is super easy. Fabric just uses the um the silkworms. Let's see zeolite, indium. Indium is looking looking a little light there too, you know? All right, we're going to go ahead and get two more of uh these guys going. We had two over here, but two more will probably make it, uh, you know, things speed up a little bit here. So we'll go ahead and get our Indium. We'll set up the supply for that again and hope that will help us get enough Indium to supply everything. So let's see, these look good. Resources there, resources there. We have plenty of robots. We have plenty of bots flying around. Okay, so there's two more of those. If we need more, we, you know what? Maybe I should just go through. We should just <laughs> completely redo everything and just be supplying pulse records. I don't want to do that though, because I like automating everything because it's everything's automated. So I don't have to worry about running out of like basically any resource. Everything will refill itself over time, I think, uh, for the most part. So I do like that. Um, hopefully we can increase that maybe i mean i don't know maybe i should go and set up like for all of the items needed here except for the methane methane is like instantaneous i swear <laughs> it's so fast um except for the methane maybe we should go ahead and set up like five or ten miners on each one just to keep the pulsar quartz running because if we could do a, a shipment of pulsar quartz in here that's what one two three four five one two three four five twenty five um 25 times 25, that'd be 625 per rocket. That would get us way more points way faster. Because I think we were also pumping out circuit boards too, if I'm not mistaken. And circuit boards, silicon, iron, aluminum, zeolite, bioplastic nugget, and nitrogen cartridge. Actually, see all those? That's not even that bad either. Silicon, iron, and aluminum, that's like nothing. Zeolite, we just pumped up. Uh, the bioplastic nugget is just algae and water, basically. Nitrogen cartridge is just maybe. So, yeah. I mean, those two, honestly, are... I wonder if that's where my zeal i was going was for that it could have been i have no idea all right anyways uh another thing we need to do we need to get the gps rocket tier four built so that way we can zoom out even further and uh on our map and see what's going on so let's get that going we're, we're this episode we're just doing a little bit of everything here so gps rocket tier four wow i have everything i need except for a micro a compass microchip and a super alloy rod all right that was easy enough so let's grab our microchip compass We'll throw that on and then let's go make our GPS tier four, which now we can zoom out even further. <laughs> I don't know why I never, I don't know why I never built that. Uh, okay, so let's go into here, GPS rock, satellite tier four. Look at that. Look at all of those solar panels on there. It looks good. Mm, very nice. Hit the button. Let's go. Come on, do your thing. Let's go. Oh, I'm so excited. Cause now we have, I love the map too. I love that we have the map. So, map, tier four, look at that. We can see like almost everything now. <gasps> look at that. See, there's our, see, I thought our drones, I thought we sped up our drones. I thought they were like stupid fast now. I mean, they're going and doing their thing. <laughs> I don't know. I just, for some reason, I thought they were faster. I thought there was like a drone speed upgrade or maybe it was the tier twos that were so much faster. I honestly have no idea. 
All right, so I was looking and I, you know, apparently I never unlocked the drone tier two. I thought I did because it's a microchip. So I thought we unlocked it, uh, but I, I don't have it. And I, I, I just swore that the drone tier two was like the faster one or something. I don't, I don't know. For some reason, I'm remembering that um, we had faster drones and they were so much faster. But I honestly, I don't remember. I don't remember 100%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and I'm going to unlock the drone tier twos because I thought I, I thought I already did that. Um, we're going to go ahead and get the, uh, the tier two drones unlocked once we can because we're only at 11 for 31 right now and those are 12,000. Oh my gosh, 12,000 is insane. That's like a, lo a lot. But um, yeah, that's what we're going to go ahead and do for uh, for that. So we can get some more upgrades and things like that going because we got to make more tokens and yeah there's there's more there's especially with these fuses so the reason that we need to get in one more of these tokens is because these these fuses i want to play with these fuses i want to get things optimized but i need more tokens so we're going to do some uh we're going to do some redesigning here probably in order to make more uh make more of these tokens which i think the tier two drone is going to help significantly oh what are we are we out of something wow you're, it just it just takes that long to make these now, huh? Okay, so we might actually have to set up Might have to set up another one of these guys uh, to make Pulsar Quartz. I think Pulsar Quartz is going to be our, our way to go here um, Actually, Zeolite Iridium, maybe, maybe, I don't know, we'll see uh, That's going to be in the next episode because we're going to go ahead and we're going to just end the episode here Hopefully you enjoyed, if you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things So we got our first optimizer, our first fuse build placed, if you will um, Oh, we have, we have these, can I place my effigy on here? Look at that our golden effigy we'll just place it up there for now and there's like our foods and stuff <laughs> um so next episode we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna mess with the tier two drones hopefully we'll have tier two drones we'll get them next episode and then we are gonna focus in on getting more tokens so that way we can go through and unlock everything um i think it's i i should have probably have already done wow it's really really dark uh i probably should have already done this but i haven't <laughs> So, uh, yeah, bear with me. We're going to do it next episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, all the things. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.